So if you want to add like a little key ring loop to your Hanko for, uh, you know, adding like a string on it or putting it on a keychain ring or something like that, uh, the best way to do that is to scroll down through the basic shapes and grab either a torus or a tube. I'm going to grab a tube and bring it out. Uh, I'm going to make the, r the radius of this tube, I'm going to keep at 10, oh, 10 millimeters. And, but I'm going to make the wall thickness a little thicker. So I'm going to make it uh, four millimeters thick. Uh, that will make it a little thicker. And I'm going to zoom in. I'm also going to make the height of it three, just like the bottom of the other one. And then I'm just going to kind of slide it in to that. You can see how I have them sort of in there. And then I'm just going to align that using the align tool, select both shapes, use the align tool. I'm gonna to align it just that way. I'm not gonna press this one because that would put it in the center. And then I think I'm gonna make this ring just a little bit smaller. So, oh yeah, it's 20 by 20, it should be 10 by 10. So I'm gonna do 10 by 10, there we go. And then I'm gonna, I have to realign that actually. There we go. And so that will make a good little ring uh, to either put it on a keychain ring or um, put like a piece of string or something on it that, or a, a loop, some type, a little piece of rope or something. And then I'm just going to select all that and group it. And that adds like a little loop to the top of your Hanko. So if you want to add a loop to the top of your Hanko, that's how you do it using either the tube. You could use the torus for that process as well. All right. There you go. Good luck.